this video I'm going to show you how you can cut out multiple sections of a videos using Avidemux. Now this is great if you're recording video games or if you're recording a television program off of the TV and you're using maybe an over-the-air recorder and you record commercials. This is a great program so that you can remove the commercials before you watch it or before you show it to someone else. Now I'm going to be using Big Buck Bunny which is a copyright free that uh, won't get a copyright strike to show contents of the video. Now you can drag the little slider bar and move it around uh, your videos. Now what you can do is let's say you want to move it close to the point. Let's say that there's a commercial right here and I want to back it up a little bit and here's the two buttons you're going to mainly use is to go to the next keyframe and go to the previous keyframe unless you go too far. Now right before you get to a commercial area you'll go to uh, keep pressing this button let's say that this is the starting point of my commercial so what I want to do is click the start set start marker now I want to keep pressing the go to the next keyframe until I get to the end of the commercial let's say that's the end of the commercial then I want to set the B frame now what you're going to do if I move my slider bar out of the way you can see that there's a little section of blue here now I can go up to the edit menu and I can press click the delete command or I can press the delete key on my keyboard. Now watch this blue section when I press the delete key. It is now gone. It's now replaced with a little red bar indicating where the area was cut out. So let's say I drag it right before the next commercial. I move it right to the point I want going to the next keyframe. Now it's important that you go to the keyframes because if you stop in the middle of a keyframe and you cut it out, it may create a small glitch when you're getting a playback. So it's important that you go between the uh, the beginning and end of a keyframe so that way it has a smooth transition when you're cutting it out when you're watching the video so let's say this is the next commercial I set my keyframe I keep clicking this button until I get to the end of the commercial I hit there and then this time I want to go up to edit I want to show you what it looks like by clicking the delete command it just does the same thing as pressing the delete on your keyboard I'll do a couple more just to show you like if it was a commercial on your program that you recorded hit the B then press the delete key and then I'll do one more let's say I'll move it over here like right here I don't want to go on the credits let's say here move to the next keyframe hit A and then go over a few times and then hit B press the delete key and as you can see here that would be like let's say that it's a very short TV show and I cut out all the commercials in it you can see the red marks which would be the commercials and if you have a video game and you don't want to show someone the entire video game you can cut out sections of the video game that you don't want someone to see uh, and then when you're ready you go to file hit the save command now as you can see here it's in the downloads folder I can go back to Tommy and I can choose the video folder so that it goes back in the original folder. Now here's one thing I want you to do is when you're giving this a name give it a different name than the original file because if you hit save and you save the original file and you don't have a backup you've destroyed your original file and you can't go back and undo or make any changes so I'm gonna put like dash edit and then I'm gonna hit the save button it won't take long to process this because it's not re-encoding. If you're looking for precise locations, then you're probably going to have to re-encode it. And I recommend something like Caden Live, or you can re-encode with this, but this is not the scope of this video. Let me close my uh, Avid, Avid Demux. If I go back into my videos, as you can see, here's the original video. And I'm not going to play the entire video showing it's cut out, but as you can see here, it's 9 minutes and 56 seconds. Now, I didn't really cut a lot out of the of it so if I click here instead of 9 minutes and 56 seconds I cut out 51 seconds of it by using Avidemux and if I were to let it play through since I use the end of the on the keyframes it will produce a smooth transition where I cut them out now if you wanted to go back and look at the steps of this and instead of pausing the video I will provide a link below the video which I sh show illustrated steps step by step on how to go and cut out multiple sections of a video using Avidemux. Hopefully this video has helped someone and have a great day.